Sorry if I'm a little out of breath and shaky. I'm currently working out in the home gym that my man provided for me. Oh my God, my life is so bad, guys. So this woman commented on a video where my husband actually talks really excitedly about how I chose, I, I took it upon myself, he never asked me to serve him his plate when I'm done cooking dinner. And that is a love language for me. That is how I show my gratitude and appreciation for everything he does for me. The emotional support he gives me, the spiritual support, the love, the affection, the understanding, all of it. Like that man is my security blanket. The least that I can do for him is take him his plate. And she goes, you're not embarrassed for her? No. Women can look at me and judge me. Y'all can do that all you want. But every time we're in public and I bring my man his plate, Every single man is watching me thinking that, damn, I wish my girl would do that. My man has been told by several people in our life, I can't believe your wife brings you your plate, bro. You're so lucky. The only one that looks like a fool here is you, babe. <laughs> you, you really out here judging two people who are living their best lives and they're happy. If it's something you don't want to do, cool. I'm not going to judge you for it. You show your appreciation other ways to your person. I'm not gonna sit here and say that you look like a fool because you don't bring your man your plate. <laughs> oh, you, you just, you out here, you're the fool actually in this, in this scenario. If, if anybody is a fool, it's you. Just out here. <laughs> We're getting a whole flock of silly geese, guys. You're too smart just to be a housewife. Yes, I've had this said to my face. Everyone wants to make the world a better place, but for some odd reason, serving our families is not considered doing that. The home is ministry. All the little things we do day to day matter, if not eternally matter. Putting the needs of others in front of our own is honorable. A question I ask myself often is what legacy of servanthood am I modeling for my family and my children?
Okay, so I'm here to make a clarification video because of the big controversy going around about the term trad wife and the intent behind the term, as well as the intent behind my channel and what I post. If you are not familiar with the term trad wife, it is a woman who chooses to live a more traditional life with ultra traditional gender roles. So the man goes outside the house, works, provides for the family. The woman stays home and she's the homemaker. She takes care of the home and the children if there are any. The misconception about the trad wife movement, um, it's not really a movement, nobody's pushing it. People are typically just living it and maybe showcasing their lifestyle like me. And we believe our place, specifically us as individuals, believe our purpose is to be homemakers. It doesn't mean that we are trying to take away what women fought for. There are a lot of people trying to make this a sinister thing or put some other darker meaning behind the term trad wife. Nobody is doing that. No trad wife TikTokers are saying every woman's place is in their home. We as individuals are just choosing to be homemakers. That's all. Trad wives also believe that they should submit to their husbands and serve their husbands and family. And that triggers people because the word submit and serve, it makes women think that we're saying that we're less than a man. That's not what we're saying. Trad wives just believe that they are here as women for a different role, equally as important though. I can make another video on that another time. To be a homemaker and to have traditional values does not make us bad people. It's 2022, women should have the choice to be homemakers or not without being judged. And women should also be able to use the term trad wife, which means traditional wife, and not be shunned for wanting to be more traditional.